In two months, our family of four is moving from a 2,500 square foot house to a 24 foot adventure van. But with a new baby and a puppy, we were wondering, can we even make it one night in this amazing van? No, no. I don't know either. <laughs> For those of you guys who've been following along, you know that we tried once before about four months ago and failed miserably. <laughs> this is like a perfect <laughs> summation of... <laughs> okay. Okay, I know, you're hungry. We gotta... and what are you whining about? <laughs> just... Yes, so here we go again. At least this time I'm not scared, I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, before we get going, there's just a few things we need to take care of. And the best way to do that is with a to-do list. Thanks, sweetie. Yeah. You, you like, like it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Does it fit? Yeah. <laughs> Our Winnebago 70A has two bed configurations. We could have done two twins or we could have done one king bed. And we opted for the king bed option and we wanted to upgrade things a little bit. So we tried to find the nicest mattress out there that fit these dimensions of 70 by 74. When researching mattresses for RVs, we found rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Now rvmattress.com is known for its comfort and its quality. There were so many options on the website that I could choose between firmness, dimensions, height, all of it. And I found exactly what we were looking for. Our luxury mattress that we chose is Brooklyn Arctic Dreams. Now it has a cooling technology in it for my man Scott that loves the cooling technology. <laughs> it is exactly 70 by 74 in the dimensions and it is a medium firmness, which is what we both like. High five. We got it in. We did it. We got it in. <laughs> I mean, we got the mattress in. Yeah, that one, Scott, that one. <laughs> This thing's nice. Right? I like it. So I'm a huge fan of this mattress for a few reasons. One, it is the perfect size for this van. And if you've done any research for mattresses for RVs, it's very hard to get just the right size because sometimes they're too long, too small. And with such minimal space, you need to use every single inch. And this fits right into our van. This is the Goldilocks of mattresses. It, it truly is. <laughs> the other thing is temperature. So this thing stays cool through the night, which I absolutely love. And I'm very particular about not getting hot during the night. Like a sleep diva, I would say. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> the other wonderful thing about this mattress is it comes with a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So if you want to get 20% off, click the link below and use the code Romero. If it has your approval, you know it's good. It, it is just like the princess and the pea when it comes to mattresses. So, just trying to share the information about it. What's the princess and the pea? The princess and the pea? You don't know the princess and the pea story? Re refresh my memory. Ready to go camping? Your adventure van? <laughs> you are, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> Get you in your seat. Riding in the van. Oops. Oops. You excited? Nervous? Anxious? Baby is locked in. Ready to go. Yes, are you excited? Okay. They're all unbuckled now. Mommy scoop you up. <laughs> <laughs> you 
going to sit up. <laughs> Ready, sit up. Yay! Stand up! Yay! <laughs> That might have been the worst night ever. You can see all this chaos here. We got Lucy down there. I'm standing in Scotland's bed that she didn't sleep in at all. And we have all this stuff right here because we couldn't make noise because Scotland went to bed so early. So we just kind of laid stuff out. Lucy and, needs help. Yeah. Now she's back there. Everyone made it. Everyone survived. Not by a thread. But I think we're going back to the drawing board on this whole project. We went from like expert airstreamer to like noob. Like. noob, like just disaster. We'd totally be okay if it was just us. Yeah. You know. Somebody. So the night started off okay. Scotland actually was asleep in her bed, but Lucy was whining and pacing and, and Scotland wasn't sleeping well. So Scotland woke up and tried to put her back to bed. And then after a few times couldn't put her back to bed. And then we finally brought her into our bed. And so it just, we just don't have a good setup. I, I don't know. This is, this is tough. Tougher than it was just the two of us in the airstream. Who had the baby? Is it your fault? <laughs> in the back. Girls in the back. <laughs> what do you think about that? Huh?